The 1989 Famicom baseball glut is so bad, even other console manufacturers are making them. Famicom Yakuban is the first Famicom game by Epoch. If you're not familiar with the very early days of Japanese console gaming, that name might not be familiar to you. But they were the very first people to make a cartridge-based video game console for Japan. Their second console, the Epic Super Cassette Vision, launched pretty close to the Famicom. Epic pulled out of the console market in 1987, with only 30 games released for the Super Cassette Vision. But those 30 games carry a lot of historical weight behind them. And here's Epoch, two years after they pulled out of the console business, making games for the platform that killed them. They don't publish a lot of games on the Famicom, and I'm sorry to say that the games that they do release don't have the same impact as the titles they were making for their own platform. The title Famicom Yakuban is actually a little bit weird. Yakuban refers to those baseball board games where you have a spring-loaded bat that flicks balls back. Epic didn't make those, and the game doesn't play anything like that style of baseball game, so nobody's really sure why this one's called Yakuban. Instead, this is a, brace for it, family stadium clone. The cover makes it look like maybe you've got teams of monsters or something cool like that, but you really don't. For league play, you can decide if you want to play a 30, 60, or full 130 game season, and then you pick out the six teams you want to be in your league. After every game, you earn some cash, and you use that to buy additional training or power-ups for your team. If you choose to play a single match, then you're given some money right from the start, and you can buy a few upgrades before the match. There's four different shops that you can buy things from, and on the shop menu, you just have to press a direction on the D-pad in order to pick a shop. The equipment types are jumbled up among all the stores, but there's four primary categories. Bats to improve batting, spikes to improve running, items that improve fielding, and items that improve pitching. I have to call those last two categories just items, because the game isn't consistent with what does what for those two. And then you hit the field, and here's where Famicom Yakuban really turns into a disaster. For one thing, the game is packed with graphical glitches. Those flickering lines that you might sometimes see are due to how the game interrupts the drawing on the screen. You'll see it in other games of this era, but other developers do their best to hide this, firing off interrupts at points where there are transitions, for example. The pitching just feels awful. Even your fastballs are slower than the sliders you get in other Famicom baseball games, and pitchers can have a weird amount of control over the curve. Batting isn't much better. If you swing as the ball comes over the plate, you're going to strike out. The actual time when you hit the ball is before it reaches the plate. Even if you do hit the ball, your runners are slow. I never managed to hit a double in this game, because even if the ball slowly rolls its way all the way to the outfield fence, you cannot reach second base in time. Naturally, the fielding has the same problems that so many of these 8-bit baseball games do. You have to maneuver off-screen characters into position to catch the ball. It's annoying when it's the outfielder, but I have the same problem with the catcher when the ball goes backwards. As if that wasn't enough, the rest of the interface here is not great. They make you jump through extra hoops if you want to do anything, whether it's buying upgrades or substituting a player. Famicom Yakuban isn't the worst Famicom baseball game, but it's one that does absolutely nothing to stand out, and it doesn't even play as well as the other dozen games that were on the shelf at that moment. It's mediocre, and really only notable for who published it.